beach walkers where we're at it today. We're ready to get some big fish. High tide, just right off the hurricane. Looking for some bait first thing in the morning. Quarter moon. Hopefully. Gotta see how this film turns out because it's real low light. But uh, we're gonna get a guy bite it right before the sun comes up. Gonna be hot as heck today. South wind. Gorgeous, gorgeous out there. Beautiful South far today. Here we get going here. Surfers are definitely gonna love this. Nice, nice, uh, nice sets coming in. Usually we get the bite right when that sun's about to peak. So this is about 6.30 now, sunrise is at 7. It's that half an hour bite right before the sun comes up. It's usually our prime time. Now we're away from the inlet far, so this is but reports of really, really big tarpon where it's at Fort Pierce Inlet. There's something on. Ah, I got off. Nice little hit. Oh no, you got one. It's a ribbon fish. You don't see that too many, but uh, nice, good bait. I'll show you in a second when I get the light on. So, let's see how this works out. I'll give it to my buddy. Uh, hey, Jordan. Want to take this for offshore tomorrow? Want to take it for offshore tomorrow? Oh, it's got a ribbon. Bit. Yeah. Want to use that for bait tomorrow? No. No? Fucking little swordfish. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Beautiful pinks out there today. <clears throat> Switched over to the Hydra LC. Not really seeing too much bait. Got that one ribbon fish. About it though. Any bait out here today. Nice high tide. The water temperature has dropped though. It has gotten cold. I would say it's probably in the mid 70s, maybe 79, 80, 80 at the most, but it is cool. Nice surf break there. Break it nice out here for the surfers. Wow, they're just covering the sunrise. We're not going to get a Really good sunrise, but uh, once it peeks over those clouds, it'll be beautiful out. I fish, I fish the beach 300, 300 days out of the year. I'm always on the beach. It's my preferred hometown is the beach. I just love going out here. Sometimes I don't catch anything. Keep it real with you guys. Yeah. I, try to, I try to video everything at real time. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't see any bait schools. I didn't see any tarpon jumping. Yeah, now it should be the bigger mullet coming through. We had the little finger mullet coming in October. We'll be the big fat mullet, 12, 13 inch mullet. 
All right now, really slow. Even for jacks, surprised we are catching more jacks here. Even bluefish or mackerel. But uh, gonna keep giving it a try. You can see that water, I mean, that sun's just peaking now. Be a gorgeous day. See his little greenies right there, you can see him. It's a lot of jacks. A lot of jacks this morning. Now these things the guys are fun to catch. Nothing wrong with a jack attack. And lure right in the corner. Get him out real quick. Get you right there. Hard to get out sometimes. There he goes. See you, little Jackie Jack. I'm my little buddy. Boop. Yeah. Big pods right there. The sun finally come up. Sometimes you get to change your plan, as you can see. Oh, see a little greenies. Oh, the little mullet, huh? Nice little thing. Look at that little guy. That's what they're feeding on right here. These little, little fat backs. Give them a chance.
there not seeing too many big blow ups at all. There's a lot of greens coming through. Which usually means it means tarpon, but uh not seeing anything busting. No big blow ups, no nothing. I'm kind of concerned about that, but not really. See, in this situation, I should change to a spoon. Or a top water plug is busted open, but I'm trying for tarpon. I'm trying to work out these schools. See what's outside of them. So if I wanted a target jackson, I probably would actually do it. The old spoon around, you know. Texas pool and right that bait right next to the shore. working little 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 glass minnows schools of them and there's been a lot of jacks in them so we did find some bait right before shore a lot of jacks not seeing any tarpon so far Just jumping thinking maybe I need to switch it over to the soft rubber kind of match the hatch. Focusing on the smaller baits might be a better bet.
we can change it over to a soft rubber bait. Let's see how that works. It might be a little bit more productive than the big lure right now. So stay tuned guys, let's see what we can get. This looks like they're really honing in on these glass minnows. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's low tide now. The sun's coming up. Time to get going. Surfers are out. It's a beautiful day though. Make it the best day ever on this weekend. Take care of each other. Love each other. And uh, tight lines as always. Always tight lines.